you ever bought anything at a cart? Me neither, we just spit in their face and tell them they're scum. Just kidding. Carts are either the most depressing sights ever or they are the most convenient things ever to be created. They're basically Walgreens, but also they're literally treated like gas stations. Oh yeah, and excuse my hair. I'm just on the way of becoming Jesse from Pokemon. <laughs> Not quite there. Is this hand sanitizer? <laughs> I worked at one at King's Island. That is a story for a different day, but all I can say is I feel their pain. And I'm talking about real carts, the mobile ones that you can literally just pick up and throw at the employee. Not the small, technically carts that are just like small shops at the corners of buildings. Cause at least they get moderate AC and probably a nearby restroom. It's always sad and sometimes eerie to see carts just sitting there abandoned. Like if you're not gonna open this, just roll this to the back behind the scenes. Having it close in our face just feels like I don't care about you because you came in a day where attendance was lackluster. Sales are often few and far between, especially at Six Flags and Cedar Fair Park. You see this guy just standing there chairlessly under an umbrella that's destined to fall over in an hour or so. But I would go there if I have a taste for, you know, dipping Dots or something. That's a rare case. I could just buy some of the park soft serve for the same price but a greater volume. I'll give more than that little pint-sized little cup of colorful balls. I remember getting chills, you know, those frozen yogurts. They were on point until the carts ran out of spoons and then you just started using the lid as a spoon. <laughs> that lid just turned into chips and dip. Then there's the carts that sell the little knickknacks, like little trinkets and stuff with your name on it. Yeah, that's, it just reminds me how generic my name is. The ones that sell the light up toys at night knows exactly what they're doing. They got all them parents like, if I buy this for you, will you shut up during the car ride home? A lot of the carts at Disney and Universal work. Not saying they all do, because I've definitely seen some of them employees doing the two-step, trying to balance their weight, wishing only for death. But some of those carts are just extensions to popular items. Wizarding World of Harry Potter has a butterbeer cart and a wand cart. That butterbeer cart blocked the midway like a bitch though. I wish Cedar Fair and Six Flags would do something like that. But at the same time, knowing them, I just wish Six Flags and Cedar Fair had popular items. I feel like King's Island could probably pull this off with their blue ice cream. I'm definitely sure Six Flags can pull this off selling some advertisements. Here's a flyer for a church's chicken. That'll be $2. Well, what are your thoughts on these carts? Do you use them? Do you just pass them by? Do you feel sorry for them? <laughs> Please, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> Notification all the way on. Comment below, let me know what you think. Don't forget to share. This is Rob's Rides, keeping it 100 with all things amusement. I'm Rob, and if you thought I was Supreme Max, hit subscribe and I'll come back with a new video.